Hey, what is going on guys? So Apple has recently released macOS 10.15.6, Catalina of course, and this is a relatively minor update, to, but it does fix some bugs, it brings a few new features, so figured I'd go ahead and make a video talking about it real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing here is we get several changes to Apple News. So we can now have local news in your Today feed from certain cities across the country. So if you live in San Francisco, the Bay Area, Los Angeles, Houston, and New York City, you're now gonna be able to get more localized news for your particular area. Now, it is a very small, obviously, selection to begin with, but who knows, maybe this will be you know, more of a thing here in the future. So you can kind of see a little highlights here uh, for the different areas here and you can actually follow each individual city. Now speaking of local uh, news, you can also have more stories available from a local news provider with a subscription to Apple News Plus. So you have to be subscribed to Apple News Plus in order to get you know localized stories for your area. Kind of a bummer but at least they are actually offering that. So if you have an Apple News Plus subscription you might be able to get stories for your actual area. So that's pretty cool as well. And then finally, one more thing here is your daily newsletter, the ones that Apple sends you in emails every day, can now be personalized. So if you go up here to File, and you can go down to Manage Notifications and Email, and you can now see all the channels that you follow, all your notifications. So these are all the different news sources that will pop up notifications on your device and then if you go down here to the bottom you can see your email from Apple News so you can actually just choose you know do you want this or not and you can now customize it however you want to okay so that's everything to do with Apple News let's go ahead and talk about some of the bug fixes and other improvements here so if you go into your system preferences and you go to your energy saver settings pane and you click on the battery tab right here, you'll find a brand new option that says optimize video streaming while on battery power. So this is gonna optimize video streaming on an HDR compatible Mac. And this is obviously specifically for laptops because well, they're the only ones with batteries. So when I went to this pane, it was actually turned on by default and it is probably something you want to have turned on by default, but yeah, so you have this new option here if you're on battery power. Another bug here is they resolved an issue where certain USB mouse or mice, whatever you want to call them, and trackpads may actually lose connection. So I do have an Apple Magic Mouse and I was experiencing this problem from time to time. So it's nice to see that that is resolved now. So if you were having connectivity issues with your trackpad or mouse, that should be good to go now. And finally, the last thing here for a bug fix is it fixed an issue where your computer's name may have changed after installing a software update. I have not experienced this, but you know, whatever the name is of your home folder and finder, that could have changed after you installed a software update. And guys, that's pretty much it. So this is probably one of the final you know updates here before we see macOS Big Sur come out. Don't expect anything new, just a bunch of minor updates until that next macOS comes out. But yeah guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I'll have a few more videos up about the other software updates that came out yesterday as well. So be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell so you don't miss anything. But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always, supporting the channel, and I will catch you all in the next video.